Still page 36. I'm down at the bottom, or near the bottom, where it says reverse mountain curve combining minor and major chords. I'm looking at this chord chart at the bottom of page 36, and each chord represents four beats of time going on. And the way, the basic way I pick E minor when doing a backup is fourth string, pluck the top two strings, third string, pluck the top two. I would do that twice for E minor. For G, I go the opposite direction. I start at the G string, fourth string, back to E minor, G, back to E minor, A minor, the way we did that was start at third string pluck, move your middle finger over to the fourth string, second measure of A minor, same thing. D7, I like to start that with the fourth string. Third string, another measure of D7, and then G. So I'll do the whole chord chart twice through. So this is a basic way of doing backup. On the next page, we'll be fancying up that backup a bit. So here we are, one, two, three, four. jump into some kind of solo. Page 37, Reverse Mountain Curve Chord Structure. So, you already have been through the basic chord structure for the song. Now, I will play that basic chord structure, adding in a couple of partial rolls, hammer-ons, pull-offs, little walk-downs, walk-ups, just to enhance the backup and make it more interesting for the player who is playing the backup. Not to mention the soloist who likes to hear an interesting thing going on behind him without that backup person being too busy about it. So here it is, Reverse Mountain Curve Chord Structure, page 37. And it does have a repeat sign, so I'll play it twice. One, two, three, four.
once again, that walk up might take you in to your first solo of some sort. <laughs> 